If you want a character to patrol or move along a predefined curve, you can do that with built-in nodes in Godot. In this video, we're going to see how to create a path and draw a curve, and also how to use a very simple property of a node to move a character along that path. First, let's see how to create the path. I'm going to hide my character here and select my root node of this scene. And then you want to add a new path 3D node in 3D and you have the equivalent in 2D. Once you've done that, some new options appear in the toolbar at the top. You can click the green icon to add points to your curve and then click in the viewport anywhere you want to add points. You will see some go through the floor because of the perspective view. Uh, the points are getting projected based on your view direction. So a tip to create those points is to start by pressing seven on your keypad to go to the top view, and then you can create the points in a top down view. So I'm going to uh, create a couple here in a square uh, um, pattern, and all four of them are created on the base grid. Then I can move my node up. I need to uh, select the blue tool here to select points to move my node. And you will see that I've created three sides of a square, and I can click the fourth icon to close the curve in the toolbar. So you can do that to close your curve. Now we have a bunch of straight lines and perhaps you want to create smooth curves. To do that, with the leftmost tool selected, press shift and click and drag on any of the points to drag out these handles. They will smooth out uh, the path. So if you've ever used Bezier curves in a vector drawing program, this is very similar to it. So you can do that to create your path and there again, the handles will be projected based on the view direction. So if you want to keep the um, uh, curve flat, you need to press again, seven your keypad to go to the top view and then shift click and drag to create your smooth curve. Uh, you can also click and drag on the points to move them and edit your curve anytime. One last little thing, uh, when you close the curve, it doesn't exactly create a single point with the uh, two sides merged. Instead, it creates two aligned points, uh, which is not ideal, but you have to roughly align them by hand and then shift click and drag to individually drag the handles of the points. So let's say we have our curve and now we want to move an object alongside it. To do that, we need to create a new node as a child of the path node. This node is called path follow. 3D. So I create this node and then in the inspector, I get some progress properties. If I click and drag to increase them, you can see my widget here, my gizmo in the 3D view moves along the path. So I can put anything as a child of my path follow 3D node and it will move along with the widget. For example, if I create a new mesh instance and I create a, a new box or a cylinder or something like this, I can increase the progress on my path follow 3D node and the box will move along the path and it will also rotate uh, to match the path's orientation. You can change the rotation mode uh, to prevent that, but the default option is to align with the path because that's often what we want for AIs and other characters. So I have a setup here with my path 3D, path follow, and my character, such that when I increase the progress on the path follow, my character moves along the path. Now, what about if you want to change the position on the path in code? You can do that, it's very easy. I've created a script in my scene, and in physics process, every frame, I increase the path follow 3D's progress value by a certain amount. So move speed times delta, I've defined the move speed here, and this is what creates this result here. 
And there you go. You can use that to create all kinds of curves. They can go up and down. They can be uh, procedurally generated via code. If you want to learn more about that, know how to make your AI patrol, for example, let me know in the comments below. I can make a follow-up video on that. On this channel, I answer your questions about Godot and game development in up to five minutes. If you have any questions, join our Discord and ask them in the Godot questions forum. Uh, the community will do the best to help you. And we sometimes pick one of these questions for a video on the channel.